Hi guys, I thought I would pop in here and do a little quick tutorial to show you how you can really easily cut out print and cut files from any sort of digital kit, no Photoshop needed, this is just using the Silhouette Studio software. I am going to use the Mostly Magic kit from Brandy Kincaid and Feed Your Craft. Um, and the print and cut file that comes in that kit is a PDF, but Silhouette Studio does not use PDFs. So the first thing you have to do if you've got a PDF is open it up and just go to File, Save As, and from the drop down menu just choose JPEG. So we're just going to save a JPEG of that. And then I'm just going to take that JPEG and drag it into the Silhouette Studio software. Now because this is going to be a print and cut file, I need to add some registration marks so that it will print and cut properly. And then I'm just going to scale this JPEG down so that it fits within the print borders and the cut borders of this file. Now just go to your trace tool and select trace area and then drag that over the JPEG. So you can see it's a little bit sketchy, it hasn't picked up everything, um, in fact hardly anything at all. So we just need to play around with some of these filters on this side. And I think that the easiest way I've found is to drag your high pass filter all the way up and then play with the threshold until you can see that you get most things, um, but if you go too far, I'll show you what will happen. It will start picking up some of the background too. So I go some way and I can see here there's some parts here that haven't been picked up. And so then I just use the little buttons until I can see that I get most of it, most of what I want. And then you can see if I go a bit further, that's where it starts. So that's where you know you have to stop. And then instead of trace, which is what I would normally use, I just want to trace outer edge. And that gives me all my cut outlines for this JPEG image. Now if I just zoom in here a little bit, you can see um, it's cut out all these little letters. Um, there are a few little marks. But to make um, stickers and stuff like that, I need to select the cut file rather than the JPEG. You can see that was what I grabbed the first time. And I'm going to use the offset tool. Now the offset tool is probably one of my favorite tools in the Silhouette Studio software um, for making these sorts of die cuts and stickers. So I've just clicked on offset and you can see it makes these really wide marks. Now I'm just going to need to adjust that so that these aren't all joined together. And I'm like to add something sort of about 0 0.05 of an inch. And when I click apply, you can see that that has added all the little outlines. So I can click on my um, original cut file and delete that because I no longer need that. And then you can just tidy up your file by unselecting any of um, the little dots or anything that's come out that you don't want. For images like this with text, I don't want the silhouette to be trying to cut out all these little pieces out of it. It's already a very small um, file, so I'm just going to right click that cut file and release compound path. And then while holding down shift, I'm going to deselect the outline and delete. And you can see now I've just got one whole sticker or die cut that's going to cut out. So all you do is just go ahead and tidy up the rest of your file, making any of those little adjustments that you need. And then you can go ahead and print this file and cut it. Um, one thing I do like to do is I tend to print this twice. So I print it once on white cardstock, any sort of white cardstock I've got lying around. Um, I do like it when it's a bit textured because it gives me um, a little bit of difference. The other thing I like to do when I'm cutting it is cut it from white sticker paper. Um, I use the Silhouette brand white sticker paper and then I have a whole sheet of printable stickers to match the kit that I've got. 
Let me know down below if you've got any questions. This is a super simple way of using these print and cut files and you end up with die cuts, stickers, anything you like to really stretch out your kit. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.